Canada's victims of crime and their families, like Sarah, Talia, Scott, and Marilyn, deserve justice, and they deserve their day in court. The stress of not knowing if a case will be stayed or dismissed to go to trial is unbearable for those who have already gone through so much, and this represents the true human cost of their inaction and negatively affects our community. Canadians must have the assurance that their justice system will work for them and place the rights of victims ahead of those who commit these terrible offences. Today, we are once again calling on the Prime Minister and the Minister of Justice to immediately address the growing number of judicial vacancies in Canada. Justin Trudeau and the Minister of Justice are failing Canada's victims of crime and their families by allowing these vacancies to go unfilled and the backlog of cases to grow within our courts. The matter is before the courts, and uh, but we are right up against that 29-month period. And uh, in a case that is likely as complex as this one, uh, it's uh, not uh, unusual that there could be further adjournments, further delay. And uh, while th this case is scheduled for three weeks, uh, you know, again, it's possible there could be delays during the course of the trial, but we're not going to really get into that beyond that we are up against that timeline, and it is a serious concern. But, it, you know, it's a broader issue when we see 400 cases thrown out uh, across Canada, including 12 murder cases, and the Minister of Justice can't even fill judicial spots created in Alberta for the purpose of dealing with the Jordan backlog. If I, if I could yeah. on that question. This isn't a question for us, it's a question for the family. The family contacted us and I find it very disturbing that um, a delay of justice would be called hyperbole. There is no reason why we should be seeing these backlogs. There's a human cost and a human face to these delays and, and to me that's that's why we're here today, is to p express some light on that and ask for action.